It's your girl Shasha right back from Kevin another video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell on. And if you are returning to my channel, welcome back, sister girl. Welcome back, girl, because you already know I missed you. So hey. <laughs> so yeah, y'all. I'm about to do like a small little um get ready with me makeup. Something light, nothing major. I really don't even have like too much makeup because really don't have none. Honestly, I got a little bit, but yeah. I never went to the store, you know, really to get more. I fell off from Sephora, never went back and got more. I just got the stuff to do with my eyebrows. And as you can see, you girl lashes pull, cause they're giving. Are they giving what they're supposed to give? Are my lashes giving what they're supposed to give? Hold on, I don't think you can see all the way, hold on. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they giving what they're supposed to give, okay, period. I think they look good. Don't even lie. And y'all, these not even strips. These are pure individuals and they look good, boo. They natural, they ain't extra. I'm not over here looking like a spider or a butterfly. Let's get into today's video, all right? Normally, <laughs> I would put like some lashes on. And if you don't know, now you know, your girl puts her lashes on with um, hair glue. I don't know why I had a brain fart like that. But yeah, this is pretty much all I got in here is like a whole bunch of lipsticks, as you can see. And my concealer, you know, I'm about to use my um concealer so I can do my eyebrows. And here got my clear brow gel, but I'm not using this today. I'm going to use my Anastasia, my Studio Fix 24 Hour Concealer by MAC. Um. Don't need no mascara on because, but, and can't even wear my lashes or nothing because, baby, it hasn't even been 48 hours. So what else? I'm using this. Y'all, I still ain't bought me no freaking pencil sharpener so I can sharpen my lip liner. Like, what the hell is going on? <sighs> what else in here? Yeah, it's just like a whole bunch of lip glosses. This is my edge brush. Uh -uh. I hope that ain't no toothbrush. <laughs> But it's my edge brush I use. And then I ordered this off of Victoria's Secret. Got me some almond glaze for my lips. So I'm going to try to make this work and put some liner on. It's going to be something soft, mainly just a little bucket for my, you know, little makeup or whatever. And it says, you're like really, really pretty. I couldn't make up my mind if I wanted to do my hair first or if I was going to do my little face or whatever. Like y'all, I'm really not about to do much to this. I'm really just gonna put the time lapse on. Or I probably can't talk to y'all. So I mean, we could do like a a get ready with me in a wood. I guess we could talk about um like I don't know, it's school for everyone. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it's school for everyone. So yeah. The question is, is school for everyone. Now, my honest opinion, I don't think school is for everyone, okay? And I don't think that everybody has to go to college to be successful, okay? Like, I've seen tons of freaking people make it well in life you feel me? Make it well in life without going to college or anything. Okay? So, I don't feel like you have to go. And honestly, I feel like a lot of people, they end up going to freaking college because their parents are telling them like, okay, you got to go to school. You don't have no choice. You're not going to just sit up in my house. You're going to go to school. Like, period. Or it's like, if you're not going to school... You going to the military. And everybody mind is just not like how I put it. Everybody mind is not wrapped around if they don't want to go to school, they gotta go to the military. Okay? Because honestly, the military is not for everybody. Everybody can't handle what it comes with. You feel me? 
So if you're not um in college yet, college yet, like you're still in high school and you're still trying to wrap your head around like what you want to do and your parents just say, just go to the military. Think about if that's something that you want to do, honestly, truth be told, because once you're in there, you're in there. There's no, oh, I'm coming back because trust me, I'm a witness, okay? There's no, I'm coming back, I'm just going to stay with my parents. There's none of that, okay? Like, honestly, if you're in high school right now, in middle school, whatever, and you're watching my video, I'm letting you know now. Okay, that it's not for every one. You don't have to go to school. Um, you don't have to go to the military. Honestly, before I moved out here to um, another state, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> honestly, I get sidetracked too fast. But honestly, before I was moving to another state um i wasn't in school like i graduated high school and everything i got my diploma poo i was in ap classes okay and there's placement over here but yeah i was um i was about to take my own store okay so before i moved if you don't know now you know i was working at a shoe store called um all right i'm back but yeah i was at a shoe store called um journeys and basically if you do what you gotta do baby it's hard to move up okay i mean it's easy to move up <laughs> if you do what you gotta do and i started off as like um a seasonal and then i went from a seasonal to a part-timer then i went to a part-timer to a um a sales lead then after a sales lead i became a co and then before i had to move to another state i was about to be a store manager okay honestly like i was and yeah so like they make a lot of freaking money like i was making good money as a co-manager okay like my checks were good then when the virus started to go around the virus started to go around. When COVID came, things was just getting, of course, like, what I'm saying, wikis, like, sales wasn't just always the same. You know, people wasn't really coming out at first. You feel what I'm saying? But then, you know, people started coming back out. And by the time people started probably coming back out, I had, um, what you call it? I had um, already left. So, yeah, when I came out here, I tried to go to the store out here, but... I could just tell they was hating. Like, they was just giving off weird vibes like, okay, I don't want her here, you know, you know. And if you don't want me here, just say that. Cause boy, I don't want to work at this journey anyway. I want to go back to the journey I came from. But yeah, anyway, basically what I'm saying with that is like, you can easily be successful no matter like what you're doing, okay? You can make hella, you hear me? Hella freaking money without going to school. And I'm not saying when you come out of school or oh, you gotta go right to college. No, you don't have to do that, okay? Like you need to honestly be like, you know, mom, dad, I wanna do something, but it's not what I wanna do right now, okay? Like you just gotta point yourself. Now, for some people, it may not be that freaking easy, okay? Because some people are just like, some people parents like, oh, you're going to school, okay? So, you know, everybody just don't have it like that. And I, you know, I completely understand, you know, mine was, you know, understanding or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so, I mean, like, it's different ways you can be successful, okay? A lot of people go to school, graduate, and don't even work in that field. Like, baby, you went to school, you ain't even working in the field that you're doing now. Like, um, I was telling my god sister, 
Um, I can't even think of her freaking school right now, bro. Like, I know what school she goes to, but I cannot think of it right now. I'll probably think of what school she goes to by the end of the video. But anyways, my god sister is in school for journalists. And um, I'm freaking proud of her. And I always try to keep her going because my girl is in school for what she wants to do. And she knows she's going to come out and work in it. Compared to other people, they just go to school for something and don't even know if that's really what they want to do. And I get it. I mean, you know, BS happens, okay? You don't always know, you know, what's going to happen. But you can always prepare for what may come your way. But yeah, back to her. I always motivate her because I'm like, girl, you going to school for this. When you get out, you're going to be doing blase, blase, blase. I always tell her that, you know? That's why I always, like, motivate her, okay? Period. Um, and she is, you know, like when she graduates, my girl is going into her field by all means. And, you know, like it's better when you're going in, when you know you want to go to school and that's something you want to do. You don't have to automatically get out of high school and go. But some people, you know, choose to do that so they don't procrastinate. And girl, I get it. Cause some people they don't go now they ain't going later you know like they're just not gonna go and i've seen it a lot of times i have a little sister that graduated 2019 my girl did i hear ice maker <laughs> my girl she hasn't even went to high school I mean, what she didn't go to college or anything yet right and it's what, 2021? And that's okay because she's out here traveling to Hawaii. She's going everywhere, okay? Like, she's living her life. So, eventually, she'll come to the point, okay, I want to do this. But as of right now, you know, she's still wrapping her head what she wants to do. Only 19. And sometimes a lot of people tell you, like, you see a lot of posts that be like, well, you're only 20, such and such. You don't have to worry about it. Those posts, like, to an extent, I can understand them. But then at the same time, I'm just like, no, you don't have time. Because you never know when God's going to call you home. So it's like, you can't just always live up to what social media puts out, okay? I need you to live every day like it's your last and i have to tell myself that like a lot like shine you gonna need to but yeah y'all i'm honestly just saying like you know like it's plenty of ways to get money it's plenty of ways to freaking be successful i mean you see like all these youtubers i'll call i'll say youtube influencers that are out here making money and some of them haven't even touched a door in college or a touch door and like um an online class so i mean like i'm just saying like it's plenty of ways like if you don't know well now you know my dream school was freaking um clark atlanta and the first time i applied to clark atlanta i didn't get accepted so i was like okay i'm gonna have to retake my test again then second time took the test again got into clark atlanta and i feel like the first time when i was taking like my SAT, I was just like, I mean, ACT, I was just like, okay, it's a, it's a regular test. In reality, it was something that I had to be mentally and physically prepared for. So, yeah, took it the second time. I applied back to school again. I ended up getting accepted. Now, did I go to freaking Clark Atlanta like I wanted to? No, I didn't because due to, like, FAFSA, it's a whole story behind that. Um, I ended up not going. But... You know, I still get upset or whatever. I still got into several other schools. I had gotten to Alcorn State, which is in um, Mississippi. And I got into Alabama State. Uh, what else did I get in freaking two? What is that school? Um, Allen State University. Got into Georgia State. So, you know, I got into like several several different schools but like I said due to my fast food situation I wasn't able to go like I wanted to go but yeah by the way I'm working on my 
eyebrows. I'm about to fix this one up like this one. But yeah, it's doing what it do or whatever. <laughs> and I know you're probably like shy, like, whoa, the lightning. But yeah, I know you're like shy. Do you want to um, still a 10 o'clock Atlanta or something like that? Um, if you don't know, part two, now you know part two. Um, I was doing graphic designs and I was pretty much doing all my graphic designs on my phone. But I realized like I was starting to get a lot of people that was reaching out to me, asking me to do graphic designs. And it was coming to a point where I now need to hop on the computer because it will be better for me. So I'm in the process about to get me an, um, a MacBook so that I could do my graphics off of the MacBook. I also get mixed emotions if I want to um, go to school for like public defending, um, you know, anything that's in like law. You know, like I just get like mixed emotions. My head just wrapped around like seven different things because I'm so freaking talented and I know how to do so much. Like sis, if you think your man just doing some goofy stuff, girl, come here, come here, come here. I will investigate for you. Nah, for real. It's like really, I'm like that far with the technology. Like it's like I need to take it serious, but you know. But yeah, y'all just took my bunny and my scarf off. And I haven't even fixed my eyebrows or nothing yet. So don't be talking mess in the comments because I don't even touch those yet. Girl, I really think that you should stay off the camera because your forehead is not all that clear for you to be over here. Mind your business. Back to what I was saying. I took my scarf and my bonnet off and I pretty much just took a wig brush. It was brushing through my hair. Honestly, when I had washed my hair, I didn't blow dry my hair. Like, it looked like I probably started blow drying it. But boo, I ain't blow dry this. Cause if this blow dry, it ain't finished. It ain't done, cause it's a little crisp. Y'all, what I'm gonna be understanding is like, why when a new iPhone come out, the iPhone that you have wanna start acting stupid? Like, I can't stand it. It be on that weird stuff. Boo, why are you being weird? Like, when I was just talking to y'all, or when I was about to start talking to y'all, the camera had just went off. But yeah, like, since my hair not um, flat iron, it looked like this. Really, I don't even want to flat iron my hair to like, <laughs> to like the end of the year y'all i'm not trying to be flattering crap and then <clears throat> the people out here y'all <clears throat> boo they don't even be knowing how to do hair or i won't even say that well no i can't say that they scam a lot out here so they'll take like somebody else work put it up on facebook and like, yeah, they'll take somebody else's word, put it up on Facebook, and then they'll be like, send a deposit when you message them, and they'll scam you. I never got scammed by nobody out here, but boom, I've seen plenty of people get scammed. <laughs> Y'all, look how this part go like, yeah. this part just go, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Probably, probably not. Cause I'm really only doing this for my video, so it's not like I'm going anywhere or whatever. I'm staying home with the girls, <laughs> with the gals. I'm staying home with the gals. Girl, fix your fix your eyebrows before you get the teeth. Like, hold on, y'all. So I got this like purple little matte gloss, but it broke. So I was gonna be mad if I started putting this on. If ain't do right. Okay, y'all. So I just put some like purple lipstick on. Put my hair like in this little bun, and probably about to do my edges to give it more of like a look. But it's making me feel like I'm just this little Barbie. Yeah. 
And I am going to take some more black dye and go over it with my hair again. It's like right there. Because y'all know how you be in the mall and, or you probably don't, but if you go to like Mall of Georgia or like any like big malls, they be having these salon things, right? And I mean, not salon things, these carts. And they're trying to like, oh, let me tell you about this flat iron. Can I get it to try on your hair? Yeah, that's what happened. And I'm like, girl, I haven't been using no heat on my head. So I ain't let her do the full head, you feel me? I only let her do that little piece right there. The little color that you see. Well, boo, from her urn, from her freaking flat urn, that's what it did to my hair. So now I have to go over it with some black freaking dye. And I'm happy I let her only do that part because I wouldn't even matter if she'd been doing my whole head. And she had me out here looking like a, a um, a um, a hot tamale Cheeto. I would have been very pissed, very hurt because sis. And black African American. Y'all, hold on. Let me find my brush for my itch. Cause y'all remember the brush I was showing y'all. All right, y'all. I found it. So I'm about to kind of like do my hair. Yeah, hopefully this gonna give what it's supposed to give. Y'all think it's gonna give what it's supposed to? Y'all, my video, the last video I uploaded, last video, last video I uploaded, it um, it got hella views, hella views, hella views. So I was like, dang. And then y'all, like as I was going back watching my own video today, I um. Uh, I seen an ad, like no lying crap, like no BS. I seen an ad and I'm an insider so you can see the ad too cause you're probably like shy. You do not have no ad, you don't need to have a thousand subscribers. You don't need to have 4,000 watch hours, mind your business. Cause I did and I'm from the insider on the screen so you know. Just wanted to show you guys what I was looking like. I'm about to put a scarf on my edges. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to be wearing this top and I'm about to lace the top all the way up because you know it goes up to the top and yeah, I really don't know what kind of bottoms, but I just want to show you guys like the details on the top. It's giving very much showing body, <laughs> but not for real, yeah, this is the top. Hey y'all. It's giving what it's supposed to give, okay? Period. Like, I'm liking this. I feel like it's the purple that's doing it. I was gonna put red on, but I already had worn red for Valentine's Day, even though I didn't film a video. So, yeah, y'all. I'm liking this. Open the camera. But yeah, I'm about to take some pictures. I'll insert some pictures so that <laughs> nasty. I'm about to take some pictures and I'll insert some pictures inside the video so that you guys can see what your girl looking like on that regular regular camera. Okay? Cause that off on camera, it don't do no lie. And I ain't gonna put no filter on it, but you're gonna see the real deal. Alright, let's go take these pictures. <laughs> also, if you guys need some good edge control to use. Another reason why I'm ready to move out this apartment because these people be it's no reason why I can hear you flush the toilet through the wall. It's no reason. Anyways, like I was saying, before I was really interrupted by the toilet getting flushed over next door. Some good edge control to use is Style Factor Edge Booster. This edge control what? This edge control works really well for my hair. As you can see, I haven't had no flake ups. And I just tied it down. I really don't know what the freak I was doing with my edges, y'all. 
Um, I lost my, no, I didn't, I didn't lose it. I know y'all hear that, hold on. I didn't lose the edge control brush. Um, I had like a real fancy one. It had like three different combs on it and then the edge brush. So when I be using the toothbrush, so everybody's just going to interrupt me while I'm recording. Once again, I had to use the toothbrush and not the one I brush my teeth with and do it like this. And I don't like how it look like this, but as y'all can see though, for real, like these edges haven't moved. They go up. So it's good edge control, but don't mind my edges cause they work for me, honestly. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know, school isn't for everybody and that's okay. But you have to make sure that you're doing something with yourself, that you're supporting a good income for yourself to go be on your own, okay? Because don't nobody want to go live with their mama and their daddy for the rest of their life. I mean, you, you shouldn't want to. But don't just be trying to just like move out like that's gonna be another topic for another day because i can get deep into this one because i see several people move out but then you see several people move back in no i mean i understand things happen but like i said that's why you want to be able to support yourself enough for where you don't even have to put yourself in those shoes, right? Now you probably hear this motto, everybody gets the same 24 hours. And it's true. Everybody does get the same 24 hours. You just have to pick and be careful and wisely. So many words I can use. I didn't tell you to screenshot me. Y'all, ever since Apple had the update where you could screenshot from your phone, Every time I like touch it or something, just boo. I not tell you a screenshot. Like I was saying, everybody get the same 24 hours, okay? Everybody wakes up and can predict and say how they want their day to go. That's why it's important that you invest in like a planner, get you a notebook, or even go in your notes if you can't get to that. And just write down okay so for february 23rd i want to do blase 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 okay and at least write down like five things and at least allow yourself to do at least one of those things something that can be close to your accomplishment something that can make you feel good at the end of the day okay like at the end of the day you're living for you like i said earlier oh you're only 20 you have time boo stop getting used to that and start saying i need to achieve my goals i need to write them down i need to move forward like you're stepping back every day you shouldn't just be laying in that bed if it begins with getting up making up your bed putting some clothes on looking cute boo start from there that was not a booger y'all i swear it was a piece of crust from me cleaning out my nose ring earlier see my nose ring Girl, I'm looking like a pig. I'm not showing y'all that. Like I was saying, though, you know, we got to start from somewhere. So don't say you can't because you can. So take off the T and remember that you can. You can do anything that you put your mind to. Can't nobody tell me that I can't do anything. If you're not in school, it's okay. Okay? You're going to be successful. You're going to be amazing. If you're in school, you're going to be successful. You're going to be amazing. Okay? By all means. We gonna make it to the top. I wanna see everybody winning, okay? Everybody deserves to go above and beyond because when I'm up, everybody up. But yeah, y'all, this was a small get ready with me. It was also a chit chat about, you know, it's college for everyone. Like how can you be successful and stuff like that. So I just wanted to put that out there. This was just no, this was only like motivational purposes. And also I just wanted to do like a little, cute little face something slight don't really have no makeup or whatever so <laughs> but i still it still came out cute though so the next get ready with me that you probably will see is 
probably me having like more like makeup so I can use. Now look, I'm not no professional makeup artist, so when I go buy this stuff, I'm gonna bring it up with me. Yeah, I'm bringing it up with me, but when I go buy this stuff and I do my makeup, y'all, I'm telling y'all now, I'm not a professional makeup artist. So you may be seeing me put blush on my eyebrow. You gon you may see a little bit of everything. But with that being said, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, cause that notification bell on so that you don't miss out on no uploads because everything I talk about is complete facts. You are an old head to my channel. You already know everything I talk about do be about complete facts. So sis, stop just looking at my video because if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, hmm, question is, what is you really doing? Like, I'm gonna need you to like, at least like the video and subscribe. Hello. All right, y'all, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. All right, bye.